Okay, I think this is the last revi or the last video I'm recording today. Uh, I've recorded like seven at least. So this video is going to be going over how to get uh, shiny static Pokemon, you know, like shiny legendaries, whatever, uh, in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be using Feramosa, the Ultra Beast, which is this, this tutorial is not exclusive to Ultra Beast encounters. This goes for, uh, like any of the Pokemon you can find in the Ultra Worm, in the Ultra Wormholes. So, uh, but I'm just going to be focusing on Feramosa because that's where my save was last left off at. Uh, you will notice that my Pokemon Ultra Moon, which is what I'm going to be playing, has version 1.2 here, which if yours doesn't, not good. You need that. Uh, if your game is not updated to the most recent version, then you won't be able to use Citra RNG and in turn won't be able to use the rest of the tutorial. So it's pretty simple to do though. You just got to find the CIA update file online. And then once you get it, go to file, install CIA. Here's all my updates. Uh, click one, hit open, and then it should just update the icon and update your game. So I'm going to open up Pokemon Ultra Moon. I'm going to mash through a couple things. And we're going to move this to the side because we got to set something up first. So uh, let me put it there. And we are going to start Citra RNG. Hoping you can figure out how to install that. So run that. It'll open this window. We can minimize that. Put this to the side. Change this to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Connect. And you can see, can't do nothing here. Well, that's because we're on the Gen 6 tab. So go to Gen 7. Now we can do stuff. You can update it. You can monitor that stuff. We don't need this yet. What we need is to figure out our trainer shiny value. So you're going to update this. And we're going to go to anyone else in my party. So wishy washy. Uh, trainer shiny value, 921. Okay, what we want. But if I go to my my party member in the first slot, you'll see the trainer trainer shiny value is five seven three. Why is that? Well, it's because this Solvali was a type null that I traded over from my Pokemon Sun playthrough, and which means it comes from a different trainer. So when figuring out your trainer shiny value, you want to make sure that it's a Pokemon you caught yourself. So I wouldn't use five seven three here. I would use the 921 from this wishy-washy that I caught. So 921, you've got that. Then you're going to want to open up 3DS RNG tool. You're going to go create a profile. Uh, I've already got mine set up, obviously. But put your TSV here. Put the game version you're playing. Name it whatever. And toggle if you have a shiny charm or not. So I've already got mine set up. Make sure you select it afterwards. So Ultra Moon, uh, Alola Legendary, Feramosa, that's what I'm going for. But if you're doing any of the other ones in the game, what is it? Like any of the other ones in the Ultra Wormhole, just select a different one and you can go through it. And these delays over here should be correct. Uh, if they're not correct, then I'll show you a tool you can use. Uh, but let's do it this way. Alola Legendary. Uh, where is it? Feramosa. And here's the thing, uh, you'll see there's an option down here that says Ultra Beast First Encounter. So when you first encounter an Ultra Beast, it's going to have this long, lengthy cutscene, uh, which, you know, you don't want because you want cutscenes to be as quick as possible because then that takes less frames. Uh, so ideally what you should do, encounter the po if you want Feramosa Shiny, but you this is the first time you've encountered Feramosa. Encounter Feramosa, fight it, you can kill it, whatever, you can lose to it. You can catch it, uh, and then you're just going to have to go back through the wormholes and find Feramosa again, because that second time, Feramosa won't have the super long cutscene. So, a little legendary, Feramosa, Sync Nature, I don't care, but I just want it shiny. So, shiny, uh, I need to restart my save, because I've advanced way too much in this one, uh, frame-wise. So, we're going to click through, click through. And once I'm here, I'm going to pause the game. We're going to, oh, I got to reconnect. Disconnect, update. That's our initial seed. So go here, seed, calculate. And we have a couple next to each other. That's ideal. You, like, ideally, you want to pick a seed that has shiny frames next to each other. You see how there's only 
a one frame difference between these, so three frames in a row, you can get a shiny. I'm not sure if that's because I have the shiny charm or not, but yeah. And then here, you know, same thing. So 993 is what I'm going to aim for. I'll move this off to the side of the screen. So game is frozen because I froze it. Turn on update, unpause the game, and create a safe state here because we found a seed we want. So, you know, just create the safe state. And I'm going to try and get to 9993. So I'm just going to advance. Uh, and you'll notice this is probably going to freeze in a second. Uh, I'd be surprised if it doesn't. But whenever you speed up, there's a high chance that Citra RNG can't keep up and it'll like crash. So when that happens, all you have to do is uh, all you have to do is it'll give you a pop up. Just hit OK, and you just disconnect, reconnect, then update your frames again. So didn't actually happen to me that time. Eight eight five eight. I'm pretty close, so I'll create a new save state just in case I miss it this time. So nine 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 three is what I'm aiming for. Uh. Okay, come on. Okay, I'll stop here and I'll manually advance. So 9937, I press the button once, nothing happens. I press the button again, it advances, but advances by two frames. Uh, depending on the area you are in, uh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I think the same goes for Sun and Moon, uh, frames will advance differently. Sometimes they advance faster, sometimes they advance slower. Sometimes you can get it to as low as advancing one frame uh, every time you frame advance. That's ideal. But right now it looks like mine is advancing by two frames, which should be fine because we, once again, I have nearby frames, so we'll be okay. So I'm going to click this until we get to 993 or 9993. It may take a little bit, but 9, come on. Okay. Advance here. 991. 993 and say it didn't work and it put me on 994 and I skipped 993 well that's okay because we peaked the seed where 994 is also a shiny frame so ideally you want ones where it's lined up like this uh, so 993 I'm going to go back to my game I'm going to hold down the A button and then I'm gonna press control in which is my bind to toggle off frame advancing so that way you know it'll, un it'll unpause the game so do this if everything works correctly, this should be a shiny Faramosa. And there it is, shiny Faramosa. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, uh, probably the hardest part is just finding a, uh, just finding the Pokemon you want in the wormholes, but really not a difficult uh, RNG manip to learn. Uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope that was able to help whoever was trying to learn it. Uh, yeah, that's it.